When the results finally came in, you know, they told me I had, I had brain cancer, uh, a grade two diffuse astrocytoma, and that it was in my left temporal lobe near the memory and language centers. I mean, I, I was crying and I just told them, you know, they found a brain tumor or a lesion, I guess that was, that's what we called it in the beginning, but, and pretty much everyone kind of freaked out. So I am four and a half years in on my journey with brain cancer. Every day when you wake up, it's, I have a brain tumor. I'm dealing with a brain tumor. And then there came a day when that wasn't, I didn't have that thought all day and I realized, yesterday I didn't, I didn't think about it. I was diagnosed with a brain tumor in 2008 and found out about this race and we decided to put a team together. And so that was our first race 10 years ago. And I had no idea that this kind of community was available for people with brain cancer. So it's been really inspiring to be a part of. We're not just in the business of treatment. We're in the business of hope. That hope is uh, offered through you know, delivering the best possible care. And it's also offered through uh, research and the promise that um, that research and make a difference. People are very inspiring. They continue to be inspiring. Uh, the science is fascinating, and the, the goal is a worthy goal. It's a noble goal. So we're going to solve the problem of glioblastoma, and it's more than one problem. It's a whole bunch of different diseases. But we're going to solve that thing we call glioblastoma. So whether their journey is a year or whether their journey is a decade or more, or 20 years or 30 years, or whether we cure them, because some patients we do cure them. For whatever amount of time their journey is to help guide them through that, and frankly, it's a privilege and it's an honor.